Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Horizano and welcome back to episode 84 of the Affiliate Party Podcast. Now, before we get started with today's episode, I'm going to do a little follow-up about yesterday. Yesterday we talked about if it's if it's not broke, you know, don't change it. We talked about the Jay's fried chicken. And another story that I want to touch on very briefly. Listen to this. I was watching the video <clears throat> with uh two basketball players, one named Matt Barnes, one JJ Reddick. These guys, they was on a team in Orlando. And I remember I remember this team. This team was this team was pretty good. They went to the finals one year with Dwight Howard when Dwight Howard was um, a top flight superstar. He they beat LeBron James. They went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Nobody thought they was gonna win. They beat them like four games to one. And then the next year they came back and they was talking about how their team was better. They thought the team in 2010 was better than the one in 2009. Then of course they said they got to the playoffs and their coach. They had been doing the same offensive system the whole year. Then they said for some reason and like. The most critical time their coach decided to switch everything up and they lost so that also brought me back to me thinking yesterday i was like oh yeah i had to bring that up because that's that's it's just another example of why don't change what's working for you if you are a top c a top basketball team why would you change your whole system in the last in the playoffs if the system ain't been working now i would give you an example of something i would give you an example of a team that switched up their system and it paid off the indianapolis Colts in 2006 they was a lousy defensive team when it come to when it, they had been they've always they was always they, they were not good on defense they, they was not they was not the best team on defense and then they they changed things up in the playoffs in 2006, I believe. And they changed it up and they went on a good they went on a great run and they went to the Super Bowl and they won the Super Bowl. But their defense had been terrible the whole season and they did a few tweaks. That is the time if if it's if it's not working for you, if you're if if you if things stinks, then you change it. But if the thing is working, the example is like the the Magic 2010 team. The 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 whole offense had been working. Then they switched it up and they lost. The 2006 Colts, their defense stunk, and then they they tweaked it and they went on to win the Super Bowl. So those are just a couple of examples. I wanted to just do a follow up about that from yesterday because it got me to thinking more and more. Because as I told you Monday, I think about you people quite often. Okay, don't get nervous. Okay. <laughs> I think about you. I think about this podcast, and I just want to bring you the most information I can. So this is why we have to do a little follow up. But now we will get into this today's topic. All right. So listen to the commercial. Enjoy the anchor commercial, and if you want to get a podcast started on anchor, like I said, just get you the microphone, hook it up, and let it fly. All right. Anyway, listen to the commercial, and we'll be back. All right, everybody. Now, before we get started on this episode, I got I got a I got a major announcement. I know you've been I know you've been up all night. I know you've been waiting, anticipating. I know you probably been waiting with bated breath. You was like, "Hey, what is this guy gonna tell me tomorrow?" Now, as you well know, some of you, if you listen to this podcast from from the word go, if if you have if you if you have listened to episode one, which I highly recommend. You will know I've had one complaint about this podcast. Only one. I enjoy doing the podcast. I love doing the podcast. I love the content. I believe the content is great. It, of course, you know, it's on the way up. You know, in my humble opinion, maybe I'm biased, but this is the best podcast in the universe, okay? But I've only had one problem with this podcast. And that's the name. Sometimes I think of myself, when I'm driving or if I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, Philly a party podcast, huh? Uh, it's okay, but we discuss a lot of things besides affiliate marketing. So I'm like, it's so general. It's so 
I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't sit well with me, the name. So, I've decided, not now, of course, you know, not until I get, like I told you, I'm going to get real podcast cover art. We're going to make this thing official then. But we are going to change the name of the podcast at least by November. By November the 1st, we are going to change the name of this podcast from the Affiliate Party Podcast to Marketing Moves with Tony Rizzano. What do you think? If you like the name, email me. Tony. Matter of fact, you know what? If you like the name, Marketing Moves with Tony Rizzano, I'm going to give you my Email me at Tony Rizzano. That's R-E-S-O-N-N-O at gmail.com. You know what? I'm going to give you my Gmail address. Email me at the Gmail address, Tony, R-E-S-O-N-N-O at gmail.com. Let me know what you think about the name. Let me know. And also, while you're there, let me know what you think about the podcast. Are you enjoying it? you like it? All that good stuff. you got any comments, concerns, complaints, you can always email me that. Well, you can email me there this time. The last time you email me there, okay? Because this is going to be the last day I ever bring up a Gmail account. All right? Anyway, this is your opportunity. This is your opportunity. But anyway, now, <clears throat> went to this. T- today's subject is going to be about your business and how don't let anybody. Don't let anybody deter you about how your business is run, how your business looks. From you know, if you if you have a, because we all start from different places, we all come from different places. Just I run a business. I'm going to run my business a certain way. You're going to run your business a certain way. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the people you're serving and the money you're making. Okay. Those are the things that's important. Everything else doesn't really matter. If you run your business from the top of the Himalayas, great. If you run your business from the beach, great. If you run your business with four kids running around, great. However you run your business is how you run your business. Don't let anybody look down upon you and your business. Don't let anybody tell you, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, you know? And the reason why I say that, I bring it up, because me and my wife, we went out to this restaurant, nice little place, in Atlanta on Saturday. It's the steakhouse. You know, you go to these places. Of course, you know, the high, the high, the quote-unquote high-quality steakhouse you go to. If you go in there, you say, because... The one steak I normally order is the ribeye. Well, 99.9% of the time, I'm going to order a ribeye. And uh, my wife, she she gets her steak medium, and I get my I get my steak medium well, 99% of the time. And, a, and a, quite a few times we've been to these places. And, you know, the higher up you go, the more they kind of try to look down upon you. And you're, you're like, hey, can I get that steak medium well? They go, medium well. I'm like I don't I don't I don't really care, sir. That how much steak it might be, how much aged it is, or whatever like that. I don't want my I don't want my, I don't want to be eating a uh, uh, a living uh, animal, you know. I mean, I already feel me per me personally. I already feel bad that I that I, that I still eat meat, but uh, one one of these days I might just change that. But I, I mean, we'll see. But anyway, I mean. I'm I'm in there. To, I'm in there to order my steak, and then you know you, you say, "Hey, uh, can I get that medium well?" You know, and the guy's like, "Medium well." He's like, "Yeah, man, you heard me. Medium well. I don't want you know. I don't want rare. I don't want medium. I don't want medium rare. I don't want you know. I don't even want medium. I want medium well, please. You know." And um, my wife was talking to me, and she was like, "The only problem I have with these places, because she's a chef." And she was telling me how certain restaurants you go to, they sort of thumb their nose at, you know, this, that, and the other. <clears throat> at, like, the menu that... Because she was talking about how some... She was talking about how they hold the French cuisine up to a higher standard than they do, like, let's say if somebody owns a 
a soul food restaurant. If you, you go to a, if you go to a French restaurant in like New York or you go to a soul food restaurant in New York, they will try to say that the French restaurant is more epidit to say blah blah blah. You know, they will try to they will try to say that the French restaurant is more important than the soul food place. But that might not be true. It depends on who you are and what you like, see. So that's why I was talking about how you run your business is how you run your business because not everybody not everybody likes French man not everybody thinks French cuisine is the greatest of all time you know because she was telling me how what kind of French there's some French some French dish I remember somebody told me once <clears throat> somebody told me once they was talking about how they had frog legs in France and I said like I said what. Uh, they say, yeah, I flew to France to have frog legs. So I said, well, you could. I said, well, look, look, you could have just came with me. I had frog legs in good old Missouri. I mean, it's all the same. You know what I mean? So, don't, don't, don't let people deter you from your business. You know, if you, you run your business how you run your business. If your business is, of course, you know, you want to get some kind of organization going. But if you're comfortable with the way your business is, it doesn't have to. It's not going to be. You know, of course, in the beginning stages, it's not going to be smooth. This is one thing that I had to overcome, you know, because I used to listen to these different podcasts and I would see these people and they say, oh, we got show notes and we got this and we got that and go to my website and click on this and click on that. And I thought, man, I got to get all that going before I can get. No, you don't have to. You know what I mean? You don't have to. There's not there's not a set. There's not a set. There's not a standard, you know. Everything is not French cuisine. Some people like, some people like American. Some people like, you know, kangaroo. Some people like African food. Some people like this. Some people like that. There is a variety of things in the world that people like, and everybody's gonna run their business in a different manner. Everybody's gonna do things different. And what I'm telling you now is, don't worry about the next person. Don't think about the next person because not one. And then. My wife, she was talking to me about that, and I said, "You know what?" I said, "That's the one thing that annoys me about." Because the one show that I love to watch is Ma is Master Chef and Hell's Kitchen, and I've heard Gordon Ramsay say this time after time again. He says the same thing. He'll talk about fish, and then the one fish that he always kind of shits on is catfish. And I'm like, if this guy, if this guy says. Something bad about catfish one more time. I'm going to yell at the TV because I am from the great state of Missouri. I grew up there. I grew up right off the Mississippi River. And in the Mississippi River and where I'm from, our fish, our catch of the day was catfish, okay? So to me, catfish is like great, you know? I've, I, I've had catfish way long before I started eating salmon, tilapia, or crab, all that other jazz. So for me, catfish is in my heart. Catfish is in my blood. If somebody told me catfish is a bottom dwelling, catfish is a cheap fish, I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, you know what? That is your that is your opinion, sir. I do not concur with your opinion. I love me some catfish. I always have. I always will. It is what it is, okay? So, that is the whole point of this episode. Is don't worry about how your business looks, how you run it, how, how the business is being ran. If you are successful, if you are getting things done, in however manner you are getting them done, if you work at night, if you do big things at night, me, a lot of things I do are either first thing in the morning or late at night. That's that's this is how my business is being run right now. But eventually, I'm gonna run, do everything in the first thing in the morning because in the morning I have the most energy. By the time night, by the time night comes hits, my battery is about on zero. So for me, I have I have to do things in the morning. I need to do things in the morning. I need to write. I need to do podcasts. I need to you know. Shh, my energy is woo high in the morning, you know. So that's just me. You at midnight, you might be just cranking out. You might be cranking out video after video at night. Who knows? But it's, there's no rhyme or reason. All of us are. All of us can get to the same goal by doing things in a different way. So don't think, hey, French cuisine is the only is the only way I can become a Michelin star a restaurant. Okay, <laughs> so.
<laughs> don't don't even don't even worry about that, you know. And that's another thing. When you listen to people, you listen to people in their podcasts and they and they start talking about show notes and all that. And them, those people have been at this for like ten years, so don't think don't think, hey, I can't I can't make these videos because I haven't been doing this long. I mean, go go ahead, man. Just just go ahead and go ahead and get started, and you you amaze yourself, okay? And uh, you know, catfish is a great dish, so don't don't let anybody else. Don't let anybody tell you catfish is not a great dish, okay? And uh, but that's it for today. I, I know the last couple of episodes I I've held you up long enough, so we're, we're gonna make this we're gonna cut this off at this point, all right? But um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, just remember, it, it just get it done. It doesn't matter um, how, why, where. You know, just. Your business is your business. There's plenty of restaurants. There's plenty of successful restaurants. From the French to Indian cuisine to you know hamburgers to everything's different but it's you know a profitable business is a profitable business. A profitable business is a profitable business. However you however you cut, cut the seeds okay? Or cut the mustard or have whatever. Alright? That's it for now. We'll be back tomorrow with another hard-hitting episode of, for now, the Affiliate Party. Say it with me, everybody. The Affiliate Party Podcast. My name is Tony Rizzano. I enjoyed talking to you today. And we will be back tomorrow with another hard-hitting episode of the best podcast in the universe. And until then, everybody, peace.